In this Stormworks Basics video, we're going to start over a little bit, and this time we're going to use a panel, and we'll just learn a little bit of composite so that we can open and close this door with composite. All right, so we're going to start by clicking on our inventory. We'll look for a panel, type in panel, select the panel. We'll put it in the slot here, and we will put that in. Next, we'll do select. Select the panel instrument one. We're going to make an up arrow or an arrow button, and we're going to make sure that's selected up. We'll make sure it's push, and we'll make sure it's 1. Now, this, these are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4 default. So we're going to go down to 3. We'll make that a another arrow button. We'll select that as down. Also push, but we need to change the channel. We're going to change the channel to 3. All right, you can make the numbers whatever you want, but that's easy to keep them to help you uh, remember. All right, so the next thing we do is I actually deleted it off the microcontroller, so we're going to get a new one. We'll start from scratch. All right, we'll take our blank microcontroller, and we'll just put it in the wall here. We'll select it. We will edit the microcontroller. All right, we'll go back to design. We'll add a node. This time, we're going to add a composite. Input, and we'll put from, this is going to go from the panel. We're going to add another one. This, again, is going to be our number. This is what's going to control our pivot. All right, that's going to be an output. It's outputting a number to the pivot. All right, we're going to go into logic. We're going to take the pivot. We'll put that on the right. That's our output. Put the panel on our left. All right, and again, we're going to use an up-down counter. All right. So we're going to select our up-down counter. We want increments of 1 again. We want to enable our clamp, and we want to make it a minimum of 0. That's door closed. And a maximum of 1. That's door open. All right. Next thing we're going to do is from this panel, we need to be able to read the uh, arrow up button. So we need to read an on off. That's what the arrow up button is from channel one. So we're going to take the purple to purple. We're going to take this red and it's going to go up. Remember, one is our up arrow. Let's just highlight control C to copy. We'll press right there on that square, control V, and that puts our next one in. We're going to click on that when it changes to three. Remember, our down arrow, we numbered three. Next, we're going to move this over, down arrow again, to the down. All right, we're going to take the green, we're going to put it to the pivot. So, we're not looping like we did last time. If I press up, it's going to go up to up by one to a maximum of one to open the door. If I click down, it's going to go down a maximum of one to go to zero. That's going to close our door. All right, so we're going to update. We will confirm. Now we're going to connect our nodes. I'm actually going to take symmetry off. I actually made two panels. I'm just going to delete one of the panels. All right, let's go logic, composite. I'm going to take our, we'll actually go from this panel. That way it tells you right which one it flashes, which one to connect it to. Next, we'll take our data. We'll grab the number going out, put it to the pivot. Now let's spawn this and try to work our door. I just colored the door as well to make it a little bit easier. Press the up button door opens. We press the down button, door closes. All right, so let's add one more function before we leave. All right, so let's go back into our microcontroller. All right, so we have increments of 1, fine. Reset value 0, that's fine. But let's make the minimum negative 1. All right, and let's see what that does. Update, confirm, spawn. All right, let's walk up to our door. We're going to press the up arrow. Door opens. We're going to press the down arrow. Door closes. Up and down. All right, and as you notice, it's going too far, right? It's not doing the one and the one. So why is that? All right, let's fix that. Let's go to Add a Microcontroller. Let's We'll just highlight, and we'll drag this over here, and let's use Pulse. All right, let's try our door now. I'm going to press up, door opens, I'm going to press down. Door closes. We'll press down again. Door opens. All right. 
So what was happening before is without those pulses, it's not given it one click. It was given it many clicks. And as you can see, that wasn't giving us the results we wanted. So now with those pulses in, I can open the door one way, I can open the door the other way. So let's say you wanna go through the door this way, you can go through, you, sh you wanna shut the door, you can shut the door. You can still go through this way if you wanted, but you can also open it up this way. Now, as you can see, this seems kind of silly using it for Adora, but this opens up a number of possibilities of what we can use these buttons for. All right, that's uh, it for this video. Thanks for watching.